So the reason why we uh, have the values that we have are predominantly because we form part of the, of the broader MyWay group. And when we started sometime after the MyWay business started, they already had a number of these values in place. And it didn't make sense uh, when you are dealing with a very similar customer base or client base uh, to have different values. And so we embraced these values on the basis that they made sense uh, to us as a business. So the values that we're talking about uh, at the moment, there are five values. Uh, and you will see that they are values that anybody who believes uh, in doing the right thing and doing the right thing for your clients and doing the right thing for your business they are the types of values that you can get behind. So the values that we're talking about are attitude. Attitude is something that, uh, that we actually recruit for in the business. We believe that we can teach you just about everything that you need to know in the business. So we can teach you the product, we can teach you the compliance, we can teach you the systems. The one thing that we can't teach is a good attitude. And so we look for those attributes in terms of people that have the right attitude the right attitude in terms of the way that they deal with their clients and the way that they deal with their colleagues at work. Then we have accountability. As a value, accountability really comes down to doing what you say, keeping your promises and being accountable for the things that you do. Uh, the way I always try and explain it is to say that the opposite of accountability is in fact excuses. Uh, it's not not being accountable, it's, it's the, the type of people that will blame anything on anybody else and not take responsibility for what's happened. So accountability is critical and central to, to the value system. Professionalism is something that we believe is very, very important in that we don't sell something that is tangible. We sell a promise. We sell something that says in the event of something going wrong in your life, we will step in and take financial accountability for what we've undertaken to do up front. I don't think people will trust us unless we have a professional outlook in terms of the way that we deal with people and the way that we deal with one another. Freedom is probably our most misunderstood value, but really what freedom comes down to is the fact that you get more freedom the more disciplined that you actually are. Whilst we script some of our calls, we allow the guys the freedom to be able to build a rapport with clients that they need. But in essence, we really look for people who find new ways of doing things, find ways to enjoy their, their jobs, find ways to solve problems for clients. Where our processes might be a little bit rigid at some point in time, we expect our people to go the extra mile and find ways around doing things so that we can allow clients the experience that they require and the solutions that they require from us. The only one left is energy. And I think energy is one that is quite difficult to explain. The way I explain it to, to the guys who come in is, is invariably you have somebody on your phone. When the telephone rings and you have a look at who's calling, you will generally get a sense of that person. And sometimes it's exhausting to speak to people and sometimes it's uplifting to speak to people. People with good and bad energy are difficult to explain but very easy once you've actually been in the presence of somebody with good or bad energy. It doesn't necessarily mean that somebody needs to be an introvert or an extrovert. It's really around the passion with which they embrace things. The way that they go about explaining things or the way that they go about taking feedback, the way that they go about uh, interacting with people determines the level of energy that people have and the way that they go about actually doing their jobs. In summary, those are our values and we're a, we a values-based culture. We believe that you get the culture that you deserve and the harder you work on the values, the better the culture will actually be. They are central to what we do. We hire on values. We will dismiss on value. And ultimately, every single person in the business is accountable for the maintenance and the development of those values and making sure that we are each accountable to one another each and every day to uphold the values of the Maui Life business.